What a beautiful morning in this glorious U.S. of A, God's country. Another beautiful day in paradise. Wait a second. Good Lord! What was that, honey? I'm busy cleaning my good dress. I got vomit all over it again last night. Gosh darn it, Charlene. What did I tell you about? What? Just a little bit of my bathtub chardonnay. No, no, that's that's fine. Come over here and look out the window. Tell me, what do you see out there? Is it the family of blacks that moved in across the street last month? Damn it, woman, I ain't talking about them. Oh, well, all oh, shucks, Floyd. All I see is our darling baby boy playing out in the yard with his toys. Well, take a closer look, woman. He's out there playing with his baby sister's Barbie dolls again. I told you he shouldn't be doing any of that pansy sissy boy shit, lest he grow up acting like one of them pot-smoking hippie queers and asking to wear your wedding dress to the junior prom. Oh, you gotta lighten up about it, honey. Go have a talk with him if you're that bothered about it. Ernest Stephen Blowsman. Papa? Look here, boy, you really ought to not... Wait, where did you get my safety goggles? Have you been messing around with my toolkit? Yeah, the happening is nigh upon us, father. Prepare your mortal soul. What are you doing putting your sister's dolls all over the place? It doesn't look like any of her play sets. That looks like... As I walk through the valley of the shadow of our heavenly savior, the righteous Yog Sothoth, and the Zavitar, the glorious Rosaceous she goddess Barbara Millicent Roberts! Is, is that a stick of dynamite? You haven't been going down to that old abandoned mine again, have you, when boy? When the gods one thousand son and glikes I dig in the name of strolling Vilda, Vara das Miller Vans des Mettigen! Son, listen to me very carefully. I'm gonna need you to stop speaking Spanish and give me that book of matches you got in your hand there. Witness! Becoming. Boy, I've had it up to here with you. Give me them matches now. I am become death destroyer of worlds. Well, that wasn't so bad. This is the sleepy show. This is the sleepy show. Faces. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'm a sleepy boy. I was ready to like give up and say, oh, f it, don't come. Mm. Like I was, <laughs> I was ready to be like, you were, as soon as both of y'all got to the door, he's like, oh, go away. You were an angry clam today. Yeah. I'm an angry clam most days. Right. Most days. I've got issues. Why? I'm dangerous. Because right now I'm dangerous. Hell yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. You sure sound dangerous. <laughs> I almost made Coulter spit out his beer. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, no, no. John just went in for that. Like, he, like, f***ing, like, crooked mm. his head and just went for that shit. He practiced it in the mirror early. Like, yeah, he... No, that was... Yeah, that was practice. No, nah, like... You had that in mind honestly, all day. Honestly, no. Honestly... Completely spur of the moment, I will not give myself the credit of having pre-planned that because I do pre-plan other things, but then completely forget. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Right. I would have said, like, five <laughs> other funny things by now at you the start what? of the episode, but I, I f***ed that up. You know what's so. funny? This so is... right now, I'm dangerous. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. This is your baby. <laughs> oh, God. It's my baby. It's your baby. This whole podcast is your baby. That's scary. And you're forgetting your own prompts and your own... I don't give a f I know what the, I, I, I didn't forget. <laughs> Shit. We're talking about the duality of man over here. Okay, the duality of man. What are we... What, okay, go into it. All right. Give me so, your thoughts. So, how many... Like, there there are... Just speaking of these two movies, again, because really that's, that's what I want to get at. It's like the cultural phenomenon that is these two movies. People are comparing it to, like, The Dark Knight and Mamma Mia coming out on the same day 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't... 
you subscribe to that. I think that this was is it crazy like that. No, nah, I don't think it. I feel like more, way more people were talking about Batman. Like, like Mamma Mia was sort of in its own niche. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like there's there's way more crossover appeal here going on, and that's what I'm getting at. Is like there are people being polled as saying that they will go see both these movies in one day. Oh God, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, well the. the do everyone want to explain the meme? I mean, like, what what is there to explain other than just the you can't explain an aesthetic? Film Twitter is all over the shit. Yeah, because they're convinced that Barbie is going to be the f-ing, like it's going to be the future of movies. Gonna, <laughs> <laughs> the it, future of movies. It's how gonna be, it's going to be true kino. True kino. Yeah, with with a V where the U is. It's you know? <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be real Kino. Like they're they're just they're just they're just stoked for it, and it's it's half joke, but it's also like well, people it started are off. I feel like as half joke, and then like people started getting like legitimately hype. Yeah, they're hyped because, for it because like, it's, it's, it's a Greta Gerwig it movie. A it's cast. Greta Gerwig, and it's, it's a great cast. It, like it's got a great cast. It's partially written by f-ing Noah Bombatch. Yeah, like, f- and also based on the clips I've seen. Yeah, like. I've seen the trailers and it's it's it looks f-ing really funny. Ridiculous. It looks really good. It looks like it actually nails a tone. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. I'm ex- I'm stoked for it. I'm stoked. I'm I, I genuinely am. And then on, I'm actually more stoked for that than Oppenheimer. You really? Yes. I, I would say I'm more stoked for Oppenheimer. Here's the thing. I f-ing love I love the whole story of Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer like four hours. Gee. The whole story of Oppenheimer. I know. Mm-hmm. Like I love that story. But you don't know the story of Barbie. Well, the thing about Oppenheimer is that he Barbara was a f- Millicent Roberts. Yeah. No, she just it's like Pinocchio retold because she just wanted to be a real girl, <laughs> a real person, real Barbie. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think I, I uh, shit. I don't even know what like, is that like the plot. It's part of it. It seems she like she just like world. is in the real world and she's just there. She start off in Barbie Land, Barbie yeah. World, then she try to cross over, try to take Ken. I guess it's f-ing Brooklyn hipster filmmakers making like <laughs> a a big budget. Movie and it's, a big budget movie that is a toy commercial. Oh, really, that's gonna go crazy! All inception. the girls, all the girls yeah. that grew up on Barbie, every girl, almost every girl like, I know like grew up on Barbie. Mattel, as an as a company, is part of the plot of the film. Everybody like, getting their daughters. I mean, I'm stoked. Their daughters, Barbie, Dallified, and stuff like that. Yeah, give me my commodities. You know, when I was a kid, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna admit something. On this Culture's podcast. a consumer whore, and how. <laughs> no. Um, True yeah. American. What were you gonna say? So, when I was younger, you're gonna yeah, like this. Yeah. My cousins, uh, my older cousins, they were both girls, and they like basically like hand me downed me right. their toys and shit. So when I was like four or five years old, I was playing with like exclusively Barbie dolls, and I would have my mom. <laughs> Did your cousins make you gay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, I'd have my mom take me to Toys R Us and buy me more Barbie dolls because I loved them so much. I loved Barbie dolls. I loved playing pretend. I loved playing dress up with them. I loved dressing up in different outfits and shit. I was like super into it. I had Ken dolls too. You, you I had all that shit. You I don't want to know about my history with Barbie dolls. As and a also, child. here's the other thing. I had a f-ing Barbie car. Yeah. I had a f-ing Barbie Jeep that was wow. pink. Wow. And I would ride that shit around all the wow. time and it was f-ing awesome. Yeah, I'm going to blow your story out of the water real quick. You know what I used to do with my sister's Barbies when I was a kid? What did you used to do? I would literally just rip their clothes off and f***ing like lay naked with them in the dark. Hell yeah. <laughs> the little ones or the big ones? What the f*** do you mean? <laughs> How ma- like There are big ones, but they're not very... The regular common. ones. Yeah, the- I'm about to say, because, like, see, you said... Either that way, it's... You- don't know. Stupid. Yours is kind of weirder because you got the like. I believe your sister Caucasian, so you had the little white ones, right? Yeah. So my sister had like the like. You gotta remember, I'm like two, three years old. So what I'm does only, their like, race have to do with look, this? Look, I'm only, I'm only like. <laughs> you gotta remember, I'm only like two, three feet tall. So my sister okay. got like the three foot tall Barbie doll, right? Oh God, And it's no. the black one. She got her hair, you know, she looked bad as hell. That I used would, to take her down in the basement, boy. What? That would have been <laughs> horrifying. What? I used to take shorty in the basement, boy. I feel like that would be busy. worse. Double. That would hell be no. worse that was my if I was girl. laying was... naked with a giant Barbie. That's, that's what was my girl when I was earlier. No. First girl. <laughs> How you, that's how you learn to spot. Like, this is before I knew how sex worked. I, this is yeah, before I ever spots. gotten a boner. I was just like, I know what sex is, and I'm going to have it. I mean, I was influenced by, like, 
older cousins and shit because they was like what fifth, sixth, seventh graders and shit sure. like that watching us. So we would play house and shit. You, yeah, all I'm gonna say oh, is you can, you can talk look, about playing house. All I'm gonna all say want. is I'm from Chicago, and y'all don't want to know. Yeah, if you're from Chicago, you play house. You know how I get. Down. You know how I go out there, man. That's playing I'm doctor. If you're from look, Chicago, you play house. <laughs> you play house. If you play house growing you know, up, you know how you know how it was. You gotta start the family. You know how it is, man. Yeah, yeah. We had, you know, you gotta start the family. I got hey, things I got, was done. I got pretend married when I was in preschool. Oh God! And play house and shit. I got <laughs> this girl and um, yeah. Coulter's a married man, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I'm a married. House man. used to crack. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I got pretend married. What the with this f- are you talking about? The house used to crack. <laughs> yeah. Playing pretend. I thought that's not universal. Yeah, didn't play like culture. You play pretend, like like yeah, yeah. You play pretend, but like there's 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 like a there's a line that gets crossed with disgusting little kids. I feel like at some point, yeah, we playing with like the other neighborhood kids, and you got your cousins. They cut, you know, you know, it's it's, yeah, a lot of things going on. And then you gotta remember the age range is from like. Like, I was three, four years old, so you, you know, two, three years old, I usually play the baby role, but, you know, you got older cousins. You know how, like, you know, as a kid, you could yeah. like, fourth, fifth grade, you trying to holler at, you know, you know, some, one of your peers, so you, you ain't got no parental supervision, and y'all forced to watch the kid, so you trying to send the kids off, like, yeah, we playing house, we gonna do this, we gonna go hop under the covers and shit like that, or they do that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know. Yeah, you don't get too deep in your mom walks in, in, and it's like, it's like, just rips you out of bed, and like, what is, what the f- Beat your ass. Get your yeah, yeah, ass yeah. whooped. Like shoves your yeah. head into the wall ass. and, and you don't even like know what you, strangles you. You don't even know what you and, did. You don't and, even know what you did. Like, like, but you know you're not supposed to be doing yeah, yeah. it. Like throws you around and, and breaks your neck and, and stomps on your balls. I don't, I don't know. know about all that. They call it DCFS. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't think that's a Chicago thing, Tess. <laughs> <laughs> DCFS? I think that's just like a... If the parents pulled it's like you a out, slow breakdown I've seen yeah. in Coulter's demeanor over the last five minutes. That's what I'm saying. It's universal. People play house. Yeah. We, we play house, but like, I, I mean, like, yeah, and, and sometimes, you know, shit gets, you know, like, if you, if you, come, in, if you come into the house, you gotta fucking, you gotta we go crazy. That's yeah. what I'm saying for John. John, you have to like pay tribute play. in blood. You gotta pay tribute in blood. You, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you know, you gotta you be ready. To, you have to spread your ass, daddy. Whatever happens, yeah, happens when you yeah. play house, you know? Yeah, it, it could get, <laughs> get crazy. What in am there. I saying? It could get yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, sometimes mommy pegs daddy. No. Hey, look. <laughs> Look, domestic violence is real in the community. If like stop domestic violence, we got we're gonna have a hotline plug and everything. We against that, but hey, these kids is watching y'all as parents. You gotta remember <laughs> these kids are sponges, they watching y'all and they reenacting a lot of crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> they, re- they reenacting a lot of crazy shit. True. I learned a lot of, about a lot of kids' households through, you know, psychologically. Like, once you start thinking about shit, like, damn. I don't think people... What, what do you mean your uncle doesn't bring you under the Christmas tree? Uh, Christmas oh, yeah. You, knew, yes. like, oh, no. you know which cousins not to bring your <laughs> kids <different>. around. <laughs> that, you learn that. You learn that at house, though. You're yeah. like, nah, you get older, you watch them, they mature. If they don't grow out of certain habits, like, nah, you can't bring no kids around him. Or, you know, she tweaking. She can't bring no kids around her. She be on there. Yeah, there's yeah. A and, and then there's always that kid who walked in on his parents, you know, getting intimate. And their Happened eyes f***ing dilated. And they f***ing saw something that they shouldn't have seen. But it's, 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 it's they, don't, they don't understand what they've seen. But the the no, I understood what I seen when I, you know, I, I knew early. When I was I in, early. when I was f***ing seven years, no, six, maybe six or seven. Yeah. I From the Eminem song, The Real Slim Shady, I knew what a clitoris was. <laughs> I knew what that was, and I would f***ing brag about that. Not that it matters. And the parents would never invite me to their f***ing... <laughs> would never invite me to their kids' places. Because I was, uh, yeah, no, I was... I was, was singing... I was taking out a lot of shit that I didn't about really... about the, the Eminem clitoris song. But I didn't understand, like, what a clit... Like, like, the thing is, I didn't... We under- was banned from saying I under- nipple. I knew what a clitoris nip. was. I didn't nipple! I didn't understand what the implication of me saying what a clitoris is, mm. was when you're six years old. Mm. That's fucking some Damien the Omen shit. Like, that's not... <laughs> That's not, what like, did you just say? I'd like, say stupid shit like that. Yeah, I would. Re- know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I like one time I repeated like, like the yeah. One time I repeated the line from Kindergarten Cop. Boys have penis, girls have vaginas. To like just some other f-ing kid in the f-ing class, and she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna tell on you. You said a weird thing. Oh, you're in trouble. I'm gonna f-ing 
shit, you in trouble and remember, you're gonna die. Remember, remember f- shout out to her parents. She knew that you was on some creep shit yeah. and she called it out. This bitch would describe <laughs> her parents f- in the other Tess, room you, and like oh, describe mind. the sounds Tess, and, and the shit that they would say to each other see so, yeah, house nah. look house everyone was look, perverted parents, back in my elementary back school house. that goes back to house right that goes back to house sure. hey, it get crazy <laughs> whatever happens in the house happens in the house it happens you know? so, so what would you do with your Barbies, you f***ing psychopath? Would you make them play house? No, I was actually very good with my Barbies. Although, I, 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 I dug them out one day. How are you? How, what, how does one be good with a Barbie? You say you dug them out recently? I dug them out recently. Well, not like by recently, I mean like a few years ago. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say, like the other day. Like you just... It's like the last time you went to Cali. I found them. Okay, okay. You know, in a bin. And um, up in the attic. And I was like... Looking at them, and I, all their feet were chewed. <laughs> the fuck? I guess I was you chewing chewed their on their feet because they're rubbery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, they had these rubbery feet. When I was real young. No, I, I think I was just teething. Yeah, when you were real young. I don't think it's a foot thing. Feet, yeah. They just have rubbery feet. They were really good to chew when you were teething. There, yeah, I, I agree. Mm-hmm. I, I remember. Thank that. you, Tess. Thank you. <laughs> no, uh, no, I do remember thinking like when I would undress them and like try to put them in different outfits, I would look at like the like the weird blank space mm-hmm. between their legs. The and non I'd, nipples. Yeah, and I'd be like, it's like yeah. something should be here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, does it smooth like that? Is it really smooth yeah. like that? I don't know what's supposed to be here, but this isn't correct. Yeah. This isn't right. Oh, I also another f- weird thing about me. I saw South Park when I was like six or seven. That's how I learned yeah. about sex. Yeah. Well, I mean, was from South Park. We was yeah. watching Beavis and Butthead, Celebrity remember, Deathmatch. Yeah, the first episode of South Park I saw was when they find Fucking, out what sex is, yeah. and then they have a Mad Max parody thing where they like go crazy and they like think that they have to like put condoms or it's a whole f-ing weird thing. Oh, they, like, it's, 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 it's when when baby baby's boobs destroy society. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're they, they they like like regress into cavemen. They're like ah ta ah ta. But then the parents come in and they have to explain like they're very drawing deep. like tits on the wall like cave drawings. Yeah, but then the parents come in and then the they have to explain in detail what sex is. <laughs> and uh, oh, I remember learning that. Like, I remember, like, seeing that and, like, like taking all Timber. of that in. And, like, knowing what sex was when I was... I didn't know what to do with the information, but I just <laughs> I just knew what it, I just knew what it was. Yeah. I knew that parents did that shit. And I didn't even know that it made babies. I had a book. I thought they just did that shit for I fun. Did. I had a book when I was a kid called The Big Book of Knowledge. The big this book of big, knowledge, like red encyclopedia type thing that was like illustrated and whatnot. Right. And it had like a, a just a section just on sex. Nice. <laughs> and it's like this is the, they gave this to me as a gift when I was like five. Yeah. It's like oh god, I read the fuck out of that. You know, honestly, I don't know. Like I knew what sex was when I was young. Like I turned out fine, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, I don't think sex is your fucking problem. No, it's not. No. No, my, my problem is a lot of other things. <laughs> but, like, um, but I'm glad sex isn't my problem. Well, yeah, that, that, that could be a you know, shit-ass problem. You no, know, that that's that's a terrible problem to have. I mean, shit. I was thinking earlier, yeah, I wanted to, to bring up, because, like, wasn't Nevada, like, doing, like, research or, like, looking up, like, <laughs> this is some years ago where she was looking up, like, like, the right to fuck or something. Like, what? some countries have, like, a right to fuck. Where, like, if you're disabled or something and you can't, like, jerk yourself off, then you can have someone, like, come to your home and jerk you off for you. Oh, God. I remember reading a Reddit article about this where it was, like, about a dad yeah. who was, like, I jerk... My my son has no <laughs> arms and no legs. I jerk... Or, like, has no arms. I jerk my son off. And... Everybody took it as everybody took it as scripture. Everybody just took it as like Bible fact that this guy was being serious. But also like honestly like I'm not kidding. Father of the year. Was <laughs> that meet the Robinsons? Like you know like shit. Your son has no f-ing arms. Like he's like meet the Robinsons. Yeah. No. Like dad, you didn't molest me. <laughs> No, it's not, it's not molesting him. His dad's helping him out by, like, you yeah. know. Helping him out. Well, that's what happened in the yeah. movie. That's I so just suck sad. my son off of yeah, every once in a while. Well, what? Meet the Robinsons. I've never seen Meet the Robinsons. He doesn't f*** his dad in that movie. <laughs> dad, dude, that's what I'm, Yes, his dad has molested. He said, you f***ed up my life because you ain't molested me as a child. And he, his dad, what are you thinking of that South Park episode with Mr. Garrison? That where does he goes not happen. In, that's a Disney movie. What the no, f*** are you talking Disney about? Movie. I'm talking about the black movie. There is no black movie called Meet the Robinsons, well, is there? <laughs> I'm sure there is. 
There's a second one. <laughs> Meet the Robinsons too. We're black now. <laughs> we are black now. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I'm gonna f- cry. No, that's it's like no, because Meet the Robinsons is about a kid like who meets his dad or whatever. Technically, were we supposed to talk about the duality of man trail. or some shit? <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of duality all over what we've been talking it's, it's about. Actually, I like this as a joke. As a bit, <laughs> we, we we say what the subject's going to be for the episode, and it completely derails. Well, we talked about Barbie. We talked about all the f***ed up shit we've done with Barbies. Yeah. That's, that's part of it. Well, that's the duality of man. Really, the duality <laughs> is that, like, I played with Barbie dolls when I was a kid. <laughs> I chewed on their feet. And I grew, I grew up and I became gay and I don't have a foot fetish. <laughs> So there's that. Hey, hey, it's hey, hey, bad. hey. But you do hate women. Nothing's wrong with a foot fetish. A nice foot, a nice, beautiful. I mean, I, I mean, you're gay, so I don't Tez know. Is I don't know how, that's what I'm saying. It's I don't know how man Tez is into feet. I don't know how man foot, but women, no, when bitch get her toes done, you know, the fresh, you know, pedicures. Right. She, she nope. looking nice. She got the heels. If her shoe game nice, she, got the, she could rock some if nice heels. Game. She know how to walk in them heels. She could tap some <laughs> six inches. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy. Hey, how does her shoe game come into play? Like how she dressed, her style. How, you know, well, I mean, like about high heels. See, you could see the sometimes toes. you could do sandals. You could do right. you know, flats. Yeah. If, if she had like, flat if she's wear, just wearing sandals, sneakers and you're not yeah. really is looking she, at her foot. That's what I. That's what I, that's what I imagined. <laughs> can she rock the heels? Because some girls can't walk in rock the heels. <laughs> they be all clumsy with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Okay. No, no. I think that. Um, <laughs> Okay, for, I pay this for many. A, a, I pay. Look, I I'll pay you, for many a pedicure. You know. Oh no, I pay for. Well, I don't pay for pedicures, but I used to get pedicures with my mom and manicures and shit. Yeah, I used to get many pedicures. See, your your mom cared about her toes. Your pops, probably, yeah. you know, was you know. No, my, my pops was sitting there watching would, sports and not. I would, I would sit there and watch like Nickelodeon <laughs> or Cartoon sports. Network while my mom got like the the acid peel for her feet or whatever the. F- oh, like she God. pour like this green that, shit say, in different. a foot tub and like just stick her feet in there for like half an hour. I don't like that. Yeah. Have you ever gotten a wax? No. Mm. Tez, have you ever gotten a wax? <laughs> have you? I don't. Uh, I never have. Define no. what? Define what gotten would a wax. You get waxed. I mean, like you get a Anything. whole number of things Any- waxed. You can get like I, your chest waxed. I've get, known you know. girls who had like the at home wax shit, and they like put it on my arm or my leg or some shit. Yeah. That no, counts. I, I always imagine that hurt like hell. Yeah. So I just don't see the point. Yeah. You know. It it worked. Respective. Shit, sure I, I, I might have done that like same exact thing, but like on my like, my wrist or some shit. You know, there's a thing just, called like, trying like one of those at home wax things. Straight people don't know this. There's this <laughs> thing called uh, there's this thing called nair. I no, nair is. Yeah, nair. Is great. I live with girls. 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 My aunt used to have. I saw they nair. they use yeah. nair and uh v v nair. V. They try everything they mm. before they go to laser you know, or you know. Oh yeah, there's some really good ones. That shit stank mm. though. If you get, if you get well, no. uh there's certain there's certain types of nair they stink a little bit, that but not that much. No, it's more like after there's, there's, there's there. facial nair yeah. which is supposed to be. Like oh, you gotta less wash strength. it off, you know. Yeah. No, but no. you still smell it. And no, you don't necessarily smell it if you boy, wash it if, off. Look, you get burns if you don't no, wash it off, right? I smell, boy. I, this fight, girl, fight, I'm telling fight, you, I live fight, with fight, I live fight, with females. So. No, no, I'm sure the nair that they use. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the nair that I use. Okay, okay. Is perfect. Well, women stink in general. No, you know what I use. What? Men's nair. Men's nair. Men's nair. Yeah, what I'm saying is women stinky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I don't know, man. You ain't made some of my friends. No, <laughs> I'm, sure they sm- I'm sure they smell fantastic. <laughs> I will say women no put a lot. I mean, like, I try to, p- I-, I don't like sweat. I don't like BO. I don't like that shit. Well, who the f*** does it apart from freaks? You, I was gonna say something, but <laughs> I don't want them to. Come no, I have. Us. I have met some people who are into that shit. I would not I would call them freaks. Yeah, I would not f- feed into the spoil rule wars by saying what I was gonna say. What were you saying? You said some, like certain smells, but I'm not gonna say it. Mm-hmm. Say the smell. I can't say it. Come on, do it. I can't. I do support it. my my brethren, and I'm just gonna. Leave it at that. Now I'm now I'm extra curious what the fuck smell you're referring to because I I wasn't following. No that. no no I just like it's just I, I can't even, I'm just gonna say salute to them people. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> That's all that needs to be you can't, said. No no. Can Tess, you write it down on the special paper? This is a new said. rule. Not say it. Can you write it down? Bill Maher, new rule. You can't. <laughs> 
fucking do this shit. Yeah. You can't do this shit where you where you write it down. To something. Write it. Write it down. Like, on gotta the paper. put it in code. Say I, it. No, I, I'm not gonna say it. Write it down on the paper. I must. I tell you. I tell y'all afterwards. Oh, I gotta no. make sure no no recording being done. I can't. You're <sighs> scandalizing your own damn self right now it and up. eating up airtime. Uh, say, hey. The, if if people do listen, just know right, I don't want to. We gotta wanna, move on. We gotta move I, on okay, in order to get back on shot. track. I don't want to be shot. We can't, we can't get derailed. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um, so enough about your f-ing skincare routine or your hair or whatever the. F-ing I freak. love my hair. Your hair and your feet and your and your asshole and getting waxed and f-ing <laughs> all of these all of these things. I look beautiful down there. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a Barbie doll. I look Pristine, you don't even know. Okay, He'll not know. not to derail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but when it came to care in the that region, though. Yeah. Always, I started in what's the name, like middle school, the trim. Yeah. Not not you don't gotta go bald down there. You ain't gotta be naked down there. Right. You sure. You gotta trim it up down there. That's all I'm saying. You do you do gotta trim it up, and you know honestly, that's the best advice we can give to all the kids playing house out there. <laughs> On me, that's growing up. You gotta okay. make sure. Trim. You, you know, <laughs> it's gonna get musty Trim down there. Minutes. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't. I don't like this. Don't this like is a, <laughs> this is a perfect ad for Manscaped. <laughs> Shout out to the people at Manscaped. Culture hates this. All right. So Shout out to the people at Manscaped. So enough, enough about enough about. <laughs> this is making me uncomfortable talking about we, like we gotta wait for psych- that's until not, we actually no. get sponsored by Manscaped to say anything like that. But I we're not we're not giving them free advertising. It's a good it's a good you know filler. <laughs> Right. To go to something else. <laughs> the ad there. Okay, what's a good what's a good segue? Segue us, John. I am become death destroyer of worlds. You know, <laughs> have you ever thought about how weird a sentence that is? I am become death. Well, it's because he was like f-ing quoting the Bhagavad Gita, and yeah, but it's like it, written in Hindu. Yeah, but have you ever read the Bhagavad Gita? No. The translations are all. And I, I, I am death, or I have become death. Yeah. Like it's not. I he am f- it up. Death. Yeah, that's the whole thing. If he f- it up, I am become death. Mm-hmm. Way more effective than I have become death. Well, it's iconic. Right. I mean, fuck. You're gonna make a fucking weapon that kills everyone. The shit, whatever shit you say, you could be like wibbly dibbly d. Like I, I have killed thee. <laughs> and you're gonna go down in history. I've killed thee. <laughs> You're gonna go down in history as some hard motherfucker, no matter what. You could say some stupid shit. Flibbity flobbity floop. <laughs> I've turned you into goop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Japan. Have you been to Japan? No, I have I've never been, been to any Asian country. Taz, have you been to Japan? Have you been outside the country? I have not been outside the country. No Damn. passport. We gotta get. Do you have a passport? Nope. We gotta get you a passport. We gotta get, get on that. We yeah. gotta get soon. Soon come. Everybody subscribe so we can get Tez a passport. <laughs> subscribe at yucktime.com. That should be a Patreon award for a certain amount of They got of rid of stretch goals. They didn't? Wait, you, they did? Yeah. Like, they, like, uh, I don't know. Like, you could probably, like, write as a note or something somewhere. I think that once we get to, um, yeah, 100 or so. Yeah. We should, um, we should get Tez a passport. Hell yeah. We should take him across the country. <laughs> Well, we I mean, should, like, we should he, take the show on the road. across the country. We could go across Sorry. the world. Across the world. Okay. Let's go to outer f-ing space. Right. I want to make an edit. It's not meet the Robertsons. It's the strange thing about the Johnsons. Strange thing about the oh, Johnsons. F-ing. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> meet the I know Robinsons. what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. No, because like if you were talking about meet the Robinsons, that would have been the funniest f-ing shit. Test. Because that is about a movie. Like if that was to be a clip, somebody probably be like, what is it? He's about. <laughs> test, test. He's about movie. That's an easy YouTube video for me to make, motherfucker. Synopsize the strange thing about the Johnsons. I don't want to no more. <laughs> Come on. <dude. laughs> You've seen it. We all know what it is. No, I don't think we all know what it is. Oh, man. Come on. I, I kind of said it earlier. I mean, the son wanted his dad to violate him pretty much. He said he ruined his childhood. No, no, no. We got to start from the beginning. I mean, start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kid's jerking off to something in his bed, right? Right. We don't know what he's jerking off to, but his dad walks in and catches him. By the way, dad really creepy about that in that scene. <laughs> dad, like, well, like, he comes I mean, in, he's, he's like, he like, he like looks at him with like half-lidded eyes. If my dad did that to me, I'd f- f- the him? freak forever. I'd f- I, oh, God. What? I'd f- out him as like the f- Gilgo Beach murderer. I would. 
<laughs> Make a false case like my dad tried to touch me. What were we talking about? We were talking about duality of man. All right. So, um, Oppenheimer. How about Sloppenheimer? Am I right? What I'm not about to sit. It's like he gets hours. his his dick sucked for three and a half hours. I'm not about to sit three hours for that movie. <laughs> I could do that at the crib. Just in general. I like watch half of it, then come back. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, I, I'm, with, I'm with Tez on this one. <laughs> you, you know, when I know the that thing about you know, and slime her. The thing about Christopher Nolan that I really hate yeah. is that he f***ing presumes that we're going to spend three hours <laughs> loving his f***ing movie. <laughs> And the thing is, I don't care how good that movie is. The fact that he's like, he's like, oh yeah, they're gonna love this shit. Ugh. Ugh. Makes me want to hate it. Makes me want to spite IMAX him. Prince is eleven miles long. That's, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I seen that. It's seen over that. six hundred pounds. That, that was guy. Fake. I that, that guy. Was fake. I'm like, this can't be real. Oh, it's one him. big gigantic reel too. I seen that like, on Twitter. I thought that was fake. I thought they was making it up. It's just one giant reel. I'm like, Overcompensation. My technology, like, technology definitely like, improved. Like literally, like Ramen's Chinese Theater apparently had to like rebuild the projection room around the fucking <laughs> the, 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 the goddamn IMAX projector. <laughs> he loves that too. I'm like, he could put it on like a USB. <laughs> could he could put that shit on a USB? Yeah, no, I agree. I, you got technology. <laughs> I had a teacher once in my freshman year of high school. Actually, I like this teacher. So he would not accept late work under any circumstances, under the most extenuating circumstances. Right. No matter what. Right. My grandfather died mm -hmm. during that whole whole thing. And my um my mom had to explain to him, it's like, hey, my hey, hey, Coulter's grandmother died. Or grandfather, right. rather. Right. Died. And we gotta go to the funeral. And he was like, Okay, well we have an essay due that day. And I, I'm not Take the essay. It's like, well, I'm explaining to you. Like, this isn't him explaining this to you. I'm I'm his mother. <laughs> I'm explaining it to you. I don't care. I don't care. You know, bro. I wish my mom had my back like that. <laughs> well, my mom was finally like, it's like, what would it take to exp like? Can I give you the card, the funeral yeah. card? It's like, no, no, that won't work. She was like, do I have to take a picture of my my grand my my dad in the open coffin? Yeah, and um. And it showed to you, it's like, well, that would probably do. And you say you like this dude? <laughs> I did. I did ultimately. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, this guy's pretty cool. <laughs> but my mom, my mom, I think, hit the nail on the head with this guy. Because, no, I, I do think ultimately he was an okay guy. But my mom hit the nail okay. on the head. She, she said that, I remember hearing this over the phone. She was like, listen, I don't know what happened to you. At some point you got tricked mm -hmm. by a student who you really liked and it hurt your f***ing feelings. Right? It hurt you. You know, more than you'd like to admit. Yeah. And it drove you fucking insane. This is your mom saying this? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> You're going to accept this card or I'm going to have to go to the, fucking, you know, superintendent with this right. shit. Right. And uh, yeah, no, he, he fought a tooth and nail. But no, eventually, he eventually caved in. <laughs> well, he that, sounds like a piece of shit. What was the shit. issue? <laughs> there was an essay that happened to be due on that day. That I just couldn't make it out there for, and you had to turn it in by hand. Okay. And I couldn't turn it in by hand, so like. Um, you couldn't have turned it in earlier than like that. His fucking <laughs> grandfather died was the point, and he was, had to go to a fucking funeral. No, no, no. I'm just looking at it from the teacher perspective. Not, not to be. He was not gonna be there that day. <laughs> no, not that day. He's but not gonna hand that shit in before it's due. So that's what that no, essay. no, that's what I You could like a couple, like before, like maybe a week early, or I like, had maybe. six. Periods of of different classes. High school. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. No, that's what my teachers would say. They were like, you can't hear it there early. Like, they would be on it like that too. No, I understand because they would be. That's what I'm saying. Teachers. <laughs> I like the fact my teachers that. Be like that too. They would. They don't care. Like your your homeboy died. You know your cousin get killed. Your brother sister. You know they they still be on. The I list. think that his. In, in, I think that if I really had to go into it, his reasoning was probably that like kids lie all the f time. About their grandfather dying, oh, shit. but wait, there's that, there's that whole Zach Galifianakis bit of like it's like one thing I remember about high school is how many times my grandfather died. I know so, his post is. I'm just not past that. Like, so turning in early was never an option. Or I'm sure it, it was, was an option, but it like the, the it was an option that you like, didn't want to do. That was not on anyone's mind. Yeah, 
No, like no one is, is like I'm. Go- I have to deal with my grandfather's funeral. Let me get my essay done early. No. Yeah. I mean, in high school is ex- that's extreme as hell. In college, yeah. they be on it. Definitely in college, they don't care. In college, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, in college, they don't care. Well, the thing but about college is that, like, in high school, he should have. Like, my, my, my grandfather but, died when I was in college. He gave got you the it. excuse <laughs> yeah. to turn it in when you got back. Honestly, I already missed like five what? classes that semester and shit, and I should have gotten failed. But like, yeah, it's funny because I wasn't a bad kid either. I wasn't like this kid who constantly like lie and make up excuses right. and shit. Or turned in late work or something like that. He just was. I mean, it. I would turn in late work whenever I had the chance. But like, <laughs> oh, no, he ain't like you. No, it's <laughs> well, no, that's the thing that the f-ing guy wouldn't take late work no matter what. That's what, like, he he. You yeah, know, I remember his class. I remember his. Uh, I remember his assignments taking priority. Over a lot of other courses because he refused to take late work. It's annoying period. as. F- yeah, but I mean I get like, it. That but that teacher does that kind of teacher doesn't f-ing recognize, like oh like, I am one class that uh, out of like seven was? or eight that this kid could have or whatever you know. He they just really f-ing hated the inconvenience of having to grade late work. Well, don't say she, teachers I mean, don't care. What's their own class f-ing thing? Get? Like like if, uh, I wouldn't mind. I mean wow, yeah, I have I mean, to grade one f-ing f-ing paper. Yeah. Late. Wow. They preparing you for the real world. Because you come to your job, certain jobs like that, they real fire you instantly. You come. I love That's preparing uh, children to be a f***ing office drone. I mean, that's what school is. It yeah. really is, though. Yeah. But how relevant? Like, like to I feel conform like office to jobs society. are becoming less and less relevant. What's more about school? If you don't perform school. well in school, that's what they got to do with the prison, the school the, to prison pipeline. The schoolality of man. Do you remember, like, do you remember the kids who, like, would, like, really do well in school? Sure. Yeah. I had, a, I had a classmate. I wanted to f*** the shit out of one of them. She was wonderful, too. She was actually really nice. I could cry just thinking about but it. But she had... I remember her perfect teeth. <laughs> she had, like, perfect orthodontist teeth. Okay. But um, she was, like... She was. She had a 5.0 grade point average. And she wrote a f***ing book in <laughs> junior year of high school. And here's the thing. She self-published it on Amazon. But her, like, her synopsis yeah. was that her mom wanted her to write a book because it would make her stand out in the Ivy League. That is the dumbest shit that I've ever heard. That's she giving away the store. Yeah. Why would you write, oh, hey, yeah, I wrote this so that my mom could, <laughs> or that I could get into school. It worked. <laughs> I don't know what the f*** her mom was like. Yeah. Because like, her mom was like a first generation like immigrant, right? From where? This um, is important. You know, what, I don't. What, I, what, I, Asian. What ethnicity? I'm about to say. Asian. <laughs> Sounds like it. But she was also like class president and shit. She was very nice. I really liked her. Okay. She was very cool to me. Um, but like the thing but, is. So so just like yeah, like a helicopter mom. Maybe. But this a, is what you're getting at. A high pressure. Yeah. High pressure. But like I remember her like really worrying one day about like how she didn't have a lot of extracurriculars that involve sports. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's like a fucking, she had a fucking 5.0 grade point average. I think she got a perfect score on the SAT. I don't know what happened to her. She I mean, went I mean, to an Ivy league school. She went to a fucking Ivy league school. Yeah, I think she might have, I, you know, honestly, it might not have been Harvard. It might've been Yale, but either way. either way though, either way. Yeah. That's an Ivy league school. Yeah. That's like a, ma- that, that's a, that's a school that every human being, every brain mm-hmm. in this whole f-ing country knows, knows that's a, that's and has idea. possibly aspired to yes. even, you know, whether or not that's Skull realistic. And bones. That's the thing about colleges is like, there's like colleges that are, you know, good like uh, St. John's or broken college or whatever. Yeah. And there are schools like with, <laughs> with actual f-ing prestige. You know, you can get a better education, I bet, at Brooklyn College. I'll bet I'll bet you a million bucks you get a better education than Harvard. I, I want to say that there, there are so many factors that go into that. But like the classes the you Ivy take, League the is more about you your networking skills. You're supposed yeah. to be able to network. Yeah. And you get a class with yeah. Cornell West. Yeah. I mean, shit. I mean, like, you know who Cornell West is, Tez? Hell no. Cornell West is awesome. I like Cornell West. Cornell West. Cornell West is a... Um, Con- the only Cornell. West I know is Kanye West. I mean, yay. Black, uh, yeah. black leftist philosopher, um, who uh, dresses kind of like in this kind of preacher way. 
I don't oh, know, Baptist hell preacher no, kind of I'm way. Not voting for, I can't do it. Mm. Oh no, you should watch this guy. He's he, he on his, his, his Jesse Jackson uh, no. Al Sharpton? No, he's not he's not on the Jesse Jackson show. He's a lot he's more Jesse positive. Jesse Jackson than that. Al Sharpton. Oh, and he's seventy years old. He's uh-huh. out of there. We don't want these old niggas no more. He looks <laughs> like sorry. the rent is too damn high. Right. Oh, yo, if you're if you're over the age of sixty, stop running for president, please. Damn. I agree. I agree. I'm sorry, Damn. you're out of touch. Go retire, my old I would man. say that for literally any office, though. Yeah, retire, old man. Yeah. You know what? Old I woman. would make the president, especially the Supreme Court, old them. You know how there's an age? <laughs> I think the I think the uh, minimum age is 35 to be president. Yes. Right. Yes. I think it should be 14. <laughs> nah, hell no. <laughs> okay. Not in this era. You see, um, what's it? What is it? The TikTok and. Nah, not in the the clout era. Hell no, nah. <laughs> it's this they go. We get President Gang Gang. I want gang, that, gang. I want that fucking clouded president. Okay. Ice cream, yum yum. That's what gang we, gang. I want my president wearing true religion jeans. Didn't y'all have or Aaron, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Elf bars. Then do you live in Cali when Arnold Schwarzenegger was a? Uh, he can run for president. I fucking met Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, we don't want that. We don't. Want I that. met Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> when he was running. He 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 called him my shirt. I had a shirt with uh, with with like eight balls on. I it. love your shirt. No, he said, "I like your shirt. I like your shirt." He's a good man. <laughs> Shorter in real life. I f***ed your mother. Shorter in real life than I thought he'd be. Yeah. But um. Well, yeah, he's not like six five. He's got to be like six three. Five eleven. Five eleven. Five ten. I mean, like, I'm taller when, than him. When you get older, you get shorter too, especially with the muscles. Big sheesh. But I have his. I have a picture with him. I close my eyes. You got a picture with Robert Downey Jr. I got a picture with Robert Downey Jr. Before or after? Uh, before. Sheesh. Before what? I don't know what. The alley. <laughs> like, they found him in that alley. No. Nah, like, this is. I gotta be after. Oh, this is way after. This that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I don't yeah. know. I, I actually really like Robert Downey Jr. Just <laughs> yeah. for transcending that. He's He's got a car he, show now on, on he trans- HBO he Max. He transcended the fucking drug addict. Uh, like, he. He became and, Iron Man. Yeah, no, he f- became he's Iron Man. He's the real Iron He's a Man. great supporting well, actor, Well, no, too, Iron Man became him, because Iron Man in the comics was, like, nothing, and no one gave a f***. Oh, people and gave then, a f- and they Tony made Stark. that movie. What are you movie. talking about? They, well, no, they made the movie, and then he became Tony Stark, and now that's the only reason why anybody gives a f- about Tony Stark. Hell no. I guarantee. Hell no. You go back and read Iron Man comics from before 2008, he is a boring asshole. No one gives a f- Man, about him. Man, Black Sabbath. That song was not written about the comic book character. <laughs> Nobody knows him. <laughs> Is he gay or straight? Getting fucked in his gay ass. Yeah, that shit was hard as hell when I was a little boy. That Keep shit going, John. Iron Man. <laughs> I am fucked, <laughs> man. Woo. That's what flows. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Don't stop. What are you doing? Stop f-ing giggling. Sucking on a. D- because he is gay as shit f***ed in his gay ass He is such a f***ing f*** Dun 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 Cause he's a f*** it Dun 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 If I had the soundboard going right now <laughs> Have you seen C before? C before? I have not seen C before What? It's the Chris Rock film from like it's 25 so years ago. There's so many black movies you have not seen, but there's so many white movies that I've seen. There's so many white movies that you've seen that I haven't seen. Like what? Because white movies are. Oh, Pooty Tang. Pootie but that's kind, of, that's kind of a black movie, though. That's a black movie. The, 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 kind of made, made by Coulter's favorite human being. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Oh, CK? Oh, yeah. Oh, CK. Another more evidence for why I feel like Coulter hates women is that his, his I like unabashed Louis love for Louis CK. I thought he was a good comedian. <laughs> he made Pootie Tang. Good moment. He made Pootie Tang. That was a, that was a big moment in black history. He, he made Pootie Tang, and he has cemented himself in culture, in black yeah, culture. Did. I think he, he did. did. He yeah, did. This weird black way. Mexican man. No. White Mexican man. <laughs> this white Mexican man. What do you think of Pooja Tang? It's one let's, of let's start a rumor that Louis C.K. is actually super black. come out not in that era? Yeah. Simata Simata. Simata Simata. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's actually some good shit. That's a good deceased. bit, though. Come on. No, like, let us it's not. It's not a feature film bit. Keep, keep talking about f***ing Pootie Tang so that I can edit a YouTube video together using clips I from Pootie Tang. I mean, Pootie Tang was just a little segue. 
Yeah. It was mainly about CB4 because it was a, it's a part of CB4 where I gotta say I gotta say I haven't seen CB4 either. What Chris Rock? Y'all don't like Chris Rock like that? I love Chris Rock, but I don't. That's like classic it. Chris Rock. Oh shit! One of his main Chris stars. Well, I haven't Rock. seen. I, you know, I love Eddie Murphy. I haven't seen Pluto Nash. I mean, God, never watched Charlie Pluto Murphy, Nash. Uh, I tried watching Pluto Nash. F- that shit. Charlie Murphy and um, what's the name? He the, he the main antagonist in uh, CB4. Oh shit! I believe yeah. for sure, for sure. Now, who else is in that? It's more. It's more than just that. Charlie Murphy. I forgot so, the light skinned dude name, but that was the part. He like, I'm black, yo. I'm black, yo. I'm blackly black. I'm <laughs> oh, was black, that, yo. Was that what that was from? Yeah. See, oh, like, oh shit. Black, yeah, 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 I'm yeah, blackly yeah. black, 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 black. Yeah. Because in the shit. '90s, he him being light skinned we like, mm, yeah, you know, he kind, he might be mixed, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So he had to get the respect. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, so you, you, okay. <laughs> like it was his lines. Yeah. <laughs> like I brought up Phil Hartman before once talking to him, yeah. and he didn't know who Phil Hartman was. Oh, Phil Hartman don't apparently know. he's in that f-ing movie. Still don't know what that is. Uh. <laughs> but I like th- there is a story here about wh- how I got him to hate Andy Dick <laughs> based on <laughs> Phil Hartman. Oh, really? Well, it's not that hard. I don't hate Andy Dick. You I, should. I strongly dislike you him. You should. I don't hate anyone. Well, he's the reason why it, why Phil may or may not be the. I'm I love. Of, I of actually reason. kind of love Andy Dick. Oh, off. And I've I've seen him recently. <laughs> I saw him with his nose broken. Have you seen that nice. live stream? No. He he did an Instagram live stream where it was his <gasps> nose was. Did someone f-ed him up. Yeah, someone f-ed him up. Hell yeah, big time. And he looked no, f- Andy Dick. And um, I don't, I forget who he's talking to, but like, but like, Phil Hartman was an actor. He was on a bunch of shit, and then like Andy Dick gave his his wife, who was like a recovering like coke addict, gave her drugs, and then she went f-ing ape shit and killed Phil Hartman. So, is that what happened? That's what happened. You That's know what happened. That is what happened. Because I know that Andy Dick got his ass kicked by John Lovitz. There are a million Andy Dick stories, but that's the worst one I want to say Damn. is that he was indirectly responsible for Phil Hartman's death. But yeah, no, Andy Dick is well, he's like a menace. Um, he's like been going around like grabbing dudes' asses and like you know just like oh let me jerk you off like you know just f-ing being weird. Yeah, I've seen shit like that. Yeah, yeah, no, he's been he's been weird. Um, he's a weird guy. He's a weirdo. <laughs> I still love That's him. That's how you make money? <laughs> you love him. I love him. I love him in his f***ed up nose. You want to know why? What? Because he makes the world a wondrous place. Shit. He makes the world wondrous. It's it's wild to think that at one time, Andy Dick, Joe Rogan, Phil Hartman, the, the f***ing kids in the hall guy, and Steven Root were all on a TV show together. <laughs> what TV show? True. News Radio. It was News Radio. News, News Radio. radio. What's the, what's the kids in the hall guy's name? Oh God, I don't know. He said like, like <laughs> was it this guy was like ah, ah. like he has that voice. He's, he's, yeah, he's the guy who played Flick in f-ing Bugs Life. No, Who's he, the most you know he played he played f-ing the alien in uh, Lilo and Stitch. No, that's the other guy. You're thinking of oh. the other guy oh, that's from the other Kids guy. in the Hall. You're thinking of Kevin McDonald. Yeah, I uh, know. Like the the, the f-ing guy I'm thinking of. Hang on, I gotta look him up. Is Joe Rogan the most successful out of them? Now, yes, probably. Oh, now, yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, so, I feel That's like crazy. that goes without question. That's crazy. News radio. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I remember see, him from see. Dave Foley. Dave Foley. You know Dave Foley. You know Dave Foley, right? Sorry, I'm texting my furry friends. Sh- okay. Motherfucker. Yeah. This f***ing guy is taking time off. Like, the, he should be docked pay for every second that he f***ing looks at his phone to, to, on Telegram? to interact with a furry. Yeah. You get docked $12 from your hourly. I'm sorry, they're more f***ing interesting than you. Shit. Shit. <laughs> that was harsh. That's cold. That was cold, yeah. That's cold that was as mean. ice. I was being cold defensive there. Furry ice. Yeah. No, I, there's no place I'd rather be than here. <laughs> 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 Tez, go off about playing house. <laughs> Give me a house story. Go, go for another know? half hour about playing house. What do you yeah. want? I mean, the, all right. We're not edit, editing any of I'm this. I'm not even going to talk about house, but all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if you're from Chicago, you know about Pretend Town. Pretend Town? <laughs> the <laughs> look that I just saw on Coulter's face when he heard those words. What the f? is pretend town it's like 
<laughs> it's a place where you, like kids had a birthday parties and shit like that. Okay, wait. So is this like a like a, a Chuck E. Cheese, like an arcade or like oh, something? It's not an arcade. Game. It's like a big ass no. How, like, that's like house gets extreme. It's a big ass warehouse that's like a neighborhood. <laughs> this is like so it got the post office. Oh, you got, okay, it's like okay, stuff like that. So it got like shopping, like, grocery. This is like McCamey Manor. No, this, this is, is like, like f- junior achievement. You, you ever have junior achievement when you were a kid and they'd like bring your ass to like a fake town and it's like, this yeah. is how you're going to learn how to have jobs one day. No, they, right. It's like you got to learn to be a doctor. <laughs> no, they don't do all that. You just let the kids go. You just have f- like Mad Max. <laughs> like they just start killing each other immediately. No, they start settling scores. <laughs> Kids, we not own that like that. Something like it's a lot. Their it's kids a, are like sneaking knives and inside, and they're bullying like, gonna is, f- it's people. plastic <laughs> knives, but it's bullying and going is going on. Cause, fuck yes, because you got the you got you got a foreign police department. You got you got everything. It's a, it's a mini town, so the, we used to have fun. You got to form the national guard. You got to like you know you, you got to enact you, martial you, law. They got when the clothes. Gets too they real. had the clothes and all that. The outfits like so. Right. We used to be lit. <laughs> we used to be lit in there. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. but. You know, it used to get real. It was no, like, in that setting, it wasn't the house, the same house. Like, it, that house was more control. And Hell no, your you're playing, there. you're not playing you're house, you're there. playing earth. Yeah, you playing, at like. At that point. Yeah, but house at back on the block. You're playing you life. Like that? Yeah, it was different. Right. <laughs> it was different. You know, like, them pissy mattresses niggas would throw out and stuff like that. You Hell know? yeah. Son of a bitch. Hang on, hang on. John, aren't you supposed to be hosting this show? Welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. This is this is the beginning of our episode. No, it's not. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> host the show, goddammit. <laughs> Look, there you are. Yeah. Yay. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm 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 Yay. saturated. To, I'm I'm saturated to shit. Yeah, you're green. You may as well be. You look like Mr. Beast. Is who yeah. you look like, Mr. Beast with long hair. Oh. <laughs> That's not great. Let's assume that Jimmy Beast is on our show oh. as my co-host. Shout out to that man. <laughs> Shout out to that man, Jimmy Beast. Come on our show and give me money, and I will Shout I will out, chill Mr. you Beast. to the end of time. If you can get Mr. Beast on the show, yeah, I'll start giving a shit about it. <laughs> I hate you so much. I need twenty dollars to keep this show alive, folks. And I'm not going to be able to post this episode until after that. So if Nobody you hear this, a about this, if you hear this episode, then I got the twenty dollars to to post it. But if you do, if if you don't hear it, then me i guess i don't know 